Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'll show you how you can build easily an approval workflow for your SharePoint page or news. But before to go forward, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss next videos. SharePoint allows you to build easily with just few clicks an approval workflow. This solution that I'll show you is based on Power Automate and allows you basically to decide and review a news or SharePoint page when this should be available for all users in the SharePoint site or in the Microsoft team. Okay, let's go and I'll show you every step to achieve this goal. Let's jump on my PC. Here I am on my Microsoft 365 tenant. I am in Microsoft Teams here and I have here this team which is the org-wide team. So every user in the organization can have access here. My goal is to create an approval workflow where I can handle SharePoint page and news. And I can review every news before to make it available for everybody. The workflow is based on Power Automate. That means that we have to check if the users involved in the workflow have a valid Power Automate license. In order to do that, you have to open the admin center and if you are an admin, you can check if the user, in this case me, that I'll, I am owner of the team and I own the SharePoint site, I will handle the workflow, so that means that I need the a valid license for Power Automate. So if I expand here apps, I can check that I have a Power Automate license available because all licenses here are available for me. Okay, so this check is done. If you don't have access, ask your admins to, and to provide a license for Power Automate. So now, before to jump in the SharePoint site, I want to include the news of this site as a tab in Microsoft Teams. Clicking on News, I will have the ability to display directly in Microsoft Teams my SharePoint news. So now let me jump on the SharePoint site and in order to do that, you can click on the Files tab and then Open in SharePoint. So I want to handle posts and news, so I have to jump in the pages. Now, from here, I want to build this page approval workflow. In order to do that, you have to click on the command bar here, automate, then power automate and configure page approval workflow. So this will open this property panel where you can click on this button, create flow, and now you have to click on continue. You have to provide a name here, org-wide. Team SharePoint page for approval. OK, the approver will be me. Yes, let's create. And now with just few click, we have an approval workflow up and running for this library. So let's start to create the first news, but let me switch from another perspective because I am the approver. So let's say that I want to create a new post with another user, in this case, Ligu, which is part of the, of the team and jumping on the this is not the site, let me go again on Teams and let me open the org-wide team. Again, clicking on Files, I can open the SharePoint site. And from here in the home page, I can easily create a new post. Okay, let's start. Let's say that I want to start with this template. I have created a video about page templates in SharePoint. If you want to get more information about it, please click on the, on the link that you will see right now. 
Okay, going forward, creating a, a new post, I can just type in lake as title of this news. And now that we enabled the approval workflow, we have a new button here available, submit for approval. So let's say that my news, it's, it's good to go from a, an editor perspective. I am ready to submit this news to the owner. Okay, now for the first time that you do that, you, you will have this property panel that will show up. Once you click it, continue, you will have now the ability to add a message here. Please, this news is urgent. Please review this news. Okay, submit. And now the, the owner of the SharePoint site, which is also the owner of the workflow, will get notified by an email. So we have the, the button here available, review approvals. But let me switch now from the owner perspective, me. I heard a sound, so, and this means that I have now the new email, Ligu has created this post. And directly in the email, this is one of the greatest benefits of Power Automate. So I can basically approve or reject this news directly in the email. There is another way and I'll show you in a bit. Let's say that now it's not really fine for me. I can click here on the review page and I have now this, this news. I can have a look if all is good. And I can also approve this news from here by opening the, the property panel. And I have here the option to approve or reject. So it's up to you which way is more comfortable for you. Now let's say that the title doesn't, doesn't fit very well. Then switching again on the email, I type here, I will reject now this, this one, and I'll send back a message to Ligu. Please add two words at least in the title. Okay, submit. So this will trigger again the workflow and the workflow will send back another email to Ligu. Here I am as Ligu again. And going on her email, we can see that we have a new one. Your page was not approved by Giuliano De Luca. It was sent back to draft status with the following comments. Please add two words at least in the title. Okay, so switching again on the on this post, I can edit again, yes. And now I can provide lake. Ryuk. Okay. It's fine. I can submit again for approval. And then I can add a few notes here. I fixed the title. Submit. Now switching again from Giuliano De Luca perspective. I will get an email now. Here we go. And in the page, I can review the approvals directly from the news. So I will open the property panel and I will work directly from here now. So clicking on the approve link, this will open a, a second page in this panel. And here I can provide comments. Looks good. Confirm. And now I will show you that the status here of this news will change. 
Here we go. Now is published. So the, the news now is live. And going in teams with the Ligu perspective and going on the news tabs in Microsoft Teams, we can see that now this news is available for everybody in the teams. Last thing that I want to call out is where is hosted the workflow, basically. Giuliano De Luca has created this workflow, changing perspective now here. You can open the this URL, which is basically the Power Automate platform. So in my flows of Giuliano De Luca, we can see that we have this workflow and it is the one that we have just created, org-wide team SharePoint page for approval. Out of the box, you have these steps in this workflow, but if you want to change the every, every steps or if you want to have a more complex workflow, you can edit this one and you can provide a very great benefit to every user involved in this workflow by having a, a workflow built on your needs. The workflow now is closed. In fact, if I jump again on Ligu, we have this last email that notify that the, the workflow is now concluded successfully by publishing the news. All right, that was a quick tutorial how you can easily build an approval workflow for your SharePoint page or news. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below. I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for the next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.